Hey up folks, here we go. It's day one of my Christmas Vlogmas countdown. And I've got some um, I've got an unboxing for you, as in a unboxing of a product box. I've got a couple of or three advent calendars to show you. I've got my Liverpool memorabilia, which I've had come through, and I've also got a little bit of a talk on what I think is important at this time of year. Coming up, the advent calendars. Well, happy 1st of December, folks. I have got two advent calendars. Unfortunately, one of them hasn't arrived yet, and it's a uh, Justice League of America coin calendar. So when it comes, I will start... Well, I'll catch up on the unboxing of that one, but the one I have got coming up is the Nightmare Before Christmas Mini Funko Pop calendar. Hey up, folks, it's uh, the 1st of December, and that's the start of my... Nightmare Before Christmas Advent Calendar. There's the back. Oh, 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 hang on. That's what it looks like. And inside each of these is a mini Funko Pop. So we'll start with door one. There. Here we go. And yes, believe it or not, I have forgot the scissors. Well, that was a good start, wasn't it? Forgetting the scissors on my first day. Anyway, there's the bag. Cut. And we'll see who's in it. Oh, <laughs> I think even I can figure out who that is. I don't know if that'll focus. Focus. I don't know what he's called. Deb can tell me. She might know. I don't know. I've just got him as down as pumpkin head. I don't know what he's called. The thing is with this advent calendar is I've never actually seen it all the way through, so I won't know what all the characters are. But that just to reminds me, to be honest with you, of pumpkin head. Uh, is that focusing okay? I'm just asking. Just asking my fantastic camera woman. And there we go. That's door one of the Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Mini Funko Pop advent calendar. Pumpkin head. Now this is the advent calendar we've decided to use for the dog this year. As you can see, 24 little windows, or pockets. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? One second. What's it, Jess? What's it? What's it? What's it? Oh, oh my God. Do you want one? Go girl. What about that one? I want one. Good girl, talking for the camera. All gone, look, all gone. Good girl. Well, as my wife is a bit camera shy, I'm also going to be unboxing the Harry Potter box. Now, don't worry, I won't be taking the fun out of it for her because I'm just going to open the box and then she's going to be looking at the figure first. So, there we have it. One Harry Potter advent calendar. Yeah, it's last year's, by the way. It's last year's, by the way, not this year's, in case people are thinking they've got different ones than we've got. This is last year's advent calendar, but it's brand new, so it isn't like it's already been opened. Door one in the corner. Press. Pull out. Oh, aha! The funny thing is, they're actually in see-through bags. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so, yeah, pause. And after laughing at what the actual character is, if you look, it is a very cool Harry Potter in suit, tuxedo, whatever you call it these days. And it looks like, because this calendar is the uh, Christmas ball 
these are all figures associated with that and that's why he's dressed in a suit. So that is day one on the Harry Potter Christmas Mini Funko Pop Advent Calendar. And as an extra little bonus for those people who like their beauty stuff, my wife has a look fantastic box advent calendar as well and she will be unboxing that and I will be showing the products on my vlog so you can see exactly what's in it just in case you're thinking of getting it next year. <laughs> Now, as I mentioned in that last vlog, uh, last video, should I say, the advent calendars, the one that I should have had was a Justice League of America coin calendar. Now, I ordered it uh, about 10 days ago, thinking it would be here for the start of advent, which it isn't. Anyway, uh, when, I, when I ordered it, they were doing an offer, uh, which they do usually when it comes up to the middle of November. They usually chuck in something free with it. A um, couple of years ago, it was 10 T-shirts, and my mum bought one of the calendars and then distributed the T-shirts to the family. They were geek ones with things like Harry Potter on them and, and Super Mario and all stuff like that. Well, this year, they were doing something a bit different. They did a box that had um, uh, Batman, Batman stuff in it. And I'll just show you the Batman stuff. The first item, which sells it to me every year, is a Christmas jumper. With the Batman logo on it. And it fits me perfect. So I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with that. So that's the first item. Batman jumper. Second item was. As you can see there. It says, it says black and white Batman figure. And I opened it. And what I got was. A black and white back to front back to front robin as you can see it's robin black and white robin i mean can i get any closer yes can there you go a black and white robin figure look at that how cool is that detail on it a lot of detail on that that was the second item third item Again, still Batman. Remember, it's all Batman stuff. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. And I can't get it. I don't want. I don't want to show it so that it's reflecting the light. If I put it like that, you can see it. See it? It's a replica of the Batmobile. And I think it's worth worth the money for that, even though it was free. Uh, yeah. Look, as you can see, that's the Batmobile. Ugh. Put it somewhere so it won't fall off. And the fourth item is a PX Previews exclusive of two Funko Pops. And it is Blue Beetle and Booster Gold. As you can see them, DC Superheroes. It's a Pop Heroes exclusive, number two, vinyl. It's not even got a number, look, if you noticed. It hasn't even got a number, that one. It's an exclusive one, that one is. Blue Beetle and Booster Gold. So basically, for free, I had the two Funko Pops. I had the Robin figure. I had the Batmobile. Batmobile. And I also had the Jumper. Not bad, eh? Now, you go on to Zavi, and these items cost £25, if you want to buy them. So I bought the Advent Calendar for £60. And these are 25, but I got them for free. So if you work out the advent calendar, 60 pound, but in it are 24 gold coins. Now the coins 
go from 10 to 15 pounds each when they are sold separately so you are talking at least 260 240 pounds worth of coins for 60 pound but if you knock off the 25 for this the calendar really only cost me 35 so for 240 pound you can't complain i think that's a good bargain and that is my Zavi Extra Christmas Box unboxing. Now, just before I continue, I announced last time I did a vlog, not the last sponsored one, the one before that, that I was expecting a, a Z box to unbox for November. And I never received one. And I've been in touch with them. And they've told me that they've got really bad problems getting hold of them for, you know, for, for November. But what they are doing, they are sending me two boxes in December and they said it will be well worth the wait. So I'm really looking forward to getting them. That would be interesting. I must admit, I'm really looking forward to getting them. So that's two unboxings. Now, as you can see from the videos uh, that, at the start of this, uh, the unboxings I did were the two um, Pocket Funko Pop calendars of Nightmare Before Christmas and Harry Potter and also the uh, one that my wife has mad on the Luke Fantastic Beauty Box now the good thing about that is if you subscribe to their Beauty Box which is £13 a month I think it is for 12 months you when the Christmas box is due to come out the advent calendar you get an email off them telling you you can get £15 off it now, bear in mind, the box was 80 or 70. Anyway, I got £15 off it. So it cost either 55 or 8 or 65 Now, you work it out that it was £55, but they guarantee that the products in it are worth over £460, which means at least eight times the value that you're paying for it. And I haven't come across any uh, advent calendar that's worth that value it's not i've not seen any that are eight times what you pay for them that's an absolutely phenomenal amount and the reason she had one is because as you notice from my vlogs last christmas she had one for the very very first time i bought one because um, i knew she you know wanted to try it out and she was absolutely over the moon with it the products in it were stunning and there was well over 400 and something 430 i think it was last year well over 430 pounds worth so i got another one this year because i thought well she enjoys them. She loves them. She loves the unboxings and, and not doing all that. Even though I do it, if you know what I mean. You see my ugly mug, but it's Deb that's doing the unboxing. I just do the videos and string them together. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, go to Look Fantastic. And, and, and you want to check out the products. If you're into your beauty stuff and your skin creams and your makeup. So only the good thing about them is there's usually a good balance between makeup and skin care. So you might get like a little eyeshadow palette thing, but you might also get skin cream or anti-wrinkle eye, eye cream or anything. I don't know the stuff and all that. And when Deb opened today's little box and saw this thing, I just thought, I don't know what it is. Apparently, that's a very high-end brand. And that little thing with them two colours on actually costs £15 just for that little thing. Just for that. This is what you pay for your high-end cosmetics. And that's what I'm saying. This calendar is full of high-end stuff. They're not going to be the stuff you get in Primark or you get in Poundland or you get in Bargains or B&M. These are proper designer brands. So it's well worth the money. So, yeah, them are the calendars what I'm going to be doing. And as you've noticed, back by popular demand, the dog advent calendar. Now, you might think to yourself, it was just something hanging on a door. That is because... We went round all the places on the internet we could think of looking for a Lily's Kitchen advent calendar. And they'd either sold out or not got one. So what they've decided to do, cleverly, was I ordered all the treats off Amazon, because they, they came in three little boxes, the ones that went in their calendar last year. And we've used an advent that we already had. And Deb's literally put a couple of treats in each little bag, put them because she got these little tiny bag things, as you can see when I opened it. And what she does is she puts a couple in, mixes them all up and puts them in randomly in the doors so that she doesn't even know what the dogs are going to get on the day. And as we know, the dog loves all the treats, as you can see from the reaction in the video. Then, uh, yeah, we're on to a good thing there. But, uh, yeah, that, that's the um, what I'm going to be doing advent calendar wise. 
and hopefully I'll have my coin one soon. They've said that they've still got a bit of a delay on it because I've been in touch with them today. So I'm just waiting at the moment. I don't know. I don't know if I'll get it before Advent or after. I don't know. I do not know. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is yesterday uh, we had a parcel. And this parcel brought home to me just how ridiculous, how ridiculous, you know, companies are, how, how utterly stupid they are. And I'll just show you this picture now, as you can see. This is a collection of 15 lots of junk mail. And that wasn't accumulated over two or three days or a week. That was in one single parcel that came from Bits and Pieces, the Jigsaw and Puzzle Company. I actually ordered one item from there. I can't say what the item is because it's Christmas present for somebody and I don't want them to know what it is. But when I added, it came and it was delivered. I bought the box in and noticed that on the top there was something about yay thick. And it was weird shaped. Now, I thought that there was an extra thing in there that they chucked in. I didn't know whether it was something extra to go with the original thing or whether it was just something different. And when I opened it, those 15 lots of junk mail were what was causing the other parcel. And there was everything in there. You'd got bird catalogues. You'd got garden centre stuff. You'd got stuff on charities, as in charity appeals. You'd got charity catalogues. You'd got... Um, uh, catalogues with um, gadgets and gizmos for helping you around the house you had things on uh, conservatories you've got a thing on there on double glazing and patios and all this junk mail came in one parcel now the reason I'm angry about this is because when my mum passed away bless her soul in August we um, had to go up to her flat to sort through her stuff now my sister went up before me uh, my sister Paula, because she needed the paperwork to sort through, because we, you know, we needed to get through my mum's paperwork, and apparently, the amount of junk mail that my mum had got was phenomenal. It was absolutely unreal. She had collected literally catalogue after catalogue of these little mini thing, like twelve-page catalogue things and in booklets and God knows what. And when you saw all the charity appeals that were in this junk mail. It disgusted me. It really did disgust me because this was my mum, right? She was 70 years old, 71 years old. She'd just turned. And she was one of these people who, if she'd got money, she felt guilty because she got it. And these companies made her feel even more guilty because they'd send her leaflets for starving kids. They'd send her leaflets for charity cancers. They'd send her leaflets for Alzheimer's. They'd send her leaflets for donkey sanctuaries and for wildlife and God knows what else. And she would feel guilty because she couldn't give to all of them. At one stage, she was giving that little tiny donations, like a pound here, two pound there, one pound there. But, and it was, it was amounting to 50 pound a month just on little tiny bits that she was giving out to all these different charities. And I just think it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting really bad because they, they knew that all of these companies... My mum's got an account with the, the big companies that send out this crap. But me, they've all got my mum's details. So they know she's old. They know exactly how old she is because she's filled in all the details, age, date of birth and all that stuff. And yet they still target her. And I think the reason they target them is because they know that they are vulnerable. They know that they are susceptible to things like that. And it, it, it infuriated me. It really did when I saw all this junk in one thing. I just thought to myself, wow, how, how many did my mum get? You know, and obviously, if you've got elderly relatives, they'll probably tell you the same thing. They get absolutely tons of it through. All you have to do is sign up to one catalogue, one insurance policy, one anything. And suddenly, your, your letterbox is full of it. Literally full of it. And she didn't know anything about GPDR and all this sort of stuff and, and, and signing things to say, I don't want this or I don't want that. You know, these little tiny boxes that you need to have like microscopic glasses just to see them. And it'll say, please tick me if you don't want to receive communication. And she couldn't see that. I have a job seat. I have to take my glasses off and look over the top like that. But yeah, it just infuriated me. It really did. Um. So yeah, that's what I wanted just get off my system if you like and if you have any problems with anything like that you'll know or feel you probably if you're listening to this now you're probably going yeah we have the same thing companies <sighs>
Now it's business promotion, but I'm not promoting three, four, five, or six today. I'm promoting one. And I'm giving it a really big promotion because it's a family business. It's actually run by my brother-in-law, Andrew Caddick, and it's called West Coast Resellers. And it is a family-run business. There's no, you know, there's no 15 staff or 20 staff or whatever. It's a family-run business. And what he basically sells is, well, what doesn't he sell? It's a shorter list. That's the truth. He sells almost everything you can possibly think of. Books, CDs, Blu-rays, PC games, Xbox games, uh, toys, kids' toys, board games, jigsaw puzzles. Uh, you name it, he sells it. He sells lots and lots of things. And he, he gets a lot of stuff. And he doesn't, he isn't one of these people who buys something for a pound and sells it for 200. You know what I mean? He isn't one of these who wants to rip people off. He's got to make a profit, don't get me wrong. But he isn't in it just for the money. He loves doing it. He loves running his own business. He's one of these people who is in charge. He's in control. So if you get a chance, this is the, this is all the details, what you can see on the screen now while I'm talking. Uh, there's all the contact details there as well. He's always available, so, you know, if you want to message him, feel free. He's also got a stall at uh, the market, as you can see from these details as well. If you go along, tell him you saw my uh, vlog and I recommended him, then uh, that'll be great for me as well, because it means, uh, you know, I'm getting a bit of a mention as well. But uh, to support my own family in a venture like this is amazing. You know, it's really enjoyable. And I, the reason I'm, I'm buzzing off it is, as you can see behind me there, there's a jigsaw. Can you see it? See it a little bit missing off this corner. And uh, what it is, is because I like doing jigsaws, as you've seen from my previous 95, what I've posted. Um, he asked me if I wouldn't mind doing his jigsaws for him uh, and taking pictures. And then obviously he can then advertise them as complete or there's pieces missing or, you know, they're damaged or whatever. And I do that for him. I don't mind doing jigsaws because I love them. Now that one there is a bit of a test because it's 1,500 pieces. And we have had some fun actually because he brought down a load and I did one and uh, I got in touch with him and I just said, uh, I can't complete this one. And he was like, why is that? I said, well, there's 15 border pieces missing at least. I couldn't even join more than four pieces together without there being a piece missing. And it was just incredible how many pieces were missing out of this jigsaw. I thought, this is just ridiculous. There's probably going to be about 80, 90 pieces missing out of a thousand piece jigsaw, which is not what you want. Excuse me, my boxy just fell on the floor. In case you're wondering what that is. But yeah, go along. West Coast Resellers. He's all the details. Like I said, you've got the web address there. His contact details. The details about his market store. It's all there. Check it out. It's well worth it. Trust me. You'll get a bargain. Well, the big change for me this year was normally I do Movember, which means I grow a moustache and I get paid for doing it, if you like, for charity, for Prostate Cancer UK and for Movember UK and men's mental health, etc, etc. Now, because of everything that's happened this year, I have not really been in the mood to do anything like that. Um, my mum passing away hit me massive and I've not really been psyched up enough to be able to get excited enough to raise money for charity. I might do it next year, though. I think I will do it next year. Um, and also with everything that's going on with the COVID and all this sort of thing and the restrictions and the lockdowns, it's important to take stock and, and, and you know, evaluate your life and realise what's important and everything. And just at the moment, before anybody jumps down my throat, um, raising money for charity isn't my main concern. My main concern is getting through to the end of this year and making sure I've still got the rest of my family left. To be honest, that's my main concern. But uh, thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed the unboxings. Plenty more to come. Another 23 days. 23 days. I nearly lost count then. Another 23 days. And fingers crossed I should get my coin advent calendar soon. You all take care and I'll do another vlog tomorrow. Bye for now.